Hello there! I'm a potato that loves his coffee, and you know what? Today feels like Christmas came early. So, I freaking love the hell out of this game, and, well, Rakes, I think that's how I pronounce your name, uh, R-A-I-C-S. He just posted that, um, actually, I, I think he might have posted this a little while ago. Yeah, back on uh, May 24th. So at the moment, actually, that I'm recording this, he hasn't responded to me yet as far as giving me permission to do this whole video thing, but he made a rebalance. He finally made a rebalance of, uh, of uh, Tactics Ogre. And, uh, yeah, from what I can tell so far, from reading through the PDF that, that it came with, trying a little bit over an hour myself, it looks like the friggin' dream came true there, where it's the balance from the GBA game, the monsters and stuff from the original, and then, you know, all the setting and remake... And, you know, remakey visual goodness and the new music and everything from the new one. Yes, 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 there's story. That's great. Ah, I gotta get into this. So, this is a seemingly a, well, total rebalance of the classes, skills, you know, progressions, all of that. Uh, to be, um, to be something that makes a bit more sense. It seems like there's a better baseline for where everything is, so, you know, basic weapons aren't, like, you're standard dinky MMO stuff, like they actually seem to do proper damage. Uh, and yeah, uh, one of my favorite things actually made it in. Bringing basic soldiers can use spears. Why was that so hard for the for the original one to do? Uh, frankly, in every single one of these, I had the same kind of uh, class loadout where I had my leader with a crossbow, I had like four pikemen out front, you know, a knight or two to, you know, keep him safe on the flanks, some archers in the back, and a cleric to keep people healed up. Like, it was just... It made sense to me. Like, that... I always loved the whole kind of almost pseudo-historical aspect of the whole thing. We have semi-realistic strategies. And, uh, yeah, always gotta have those pikemen out front. Ah, uh, let's see. Ended in disaster. What's it cost ya? Uh... Well, probably that, I guess. I already guess. Uh, let's see. What do you wish for? Where's cash? Uh, happiness sounds good. I like happiness. Ow! Jesus! Cat, why are you stabbing me? Cat just stabbed me in the thigh. Ah, uh, who do you want at your side? I'd like my wife, please. Pretty sure she'd be pretty pissed if I left without her. All right. Ah, uh, what do you do to bring some people together? Um, diplomacy, I guess. I mean, religion's just gonna end in an eventual war if we just do it that way, and somebody's gonna want to go take over someone. Ah, uh, you accidentally do some messed up stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just forget about that. That never happened. Now, yeah, all these... I don't know if the stats they give are different this time around. I didn't see that in the PDF. So, uh, Rakes, if you happen to see this, uh, was that in there? Did I just miss it? I mean, I went through all, like, 40 pages of the thing and, um, didn't see that in there. Alright, so I'm gonna skip the story stuff, just wanna get to the mod. Uh, da -da -da -da. And then fast forward through some bits as much as I can to get to the meat of it. So right off the bat, got the good stuff of the sprites being different. Uh, the, pic the pictures haven't been, um entirely updated. I believe uh, Sarah and Voltaire uh, had their pictures updated, but uh, the rest have their stock pictures. Uh, they haven't been updated for their armor colors. I don't know if he's gonna be doing that. I mean, this is still in beta, so it's gonna be a minute. And right there, you can see another one of the changes. All right, yeah, somebody offers you like free mercenaries. Yeah, you take that crap. Uh, skip this. Yes, we'll totally be on board for taking you on. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. So, in the cutscenes, their armor is still the original. In the pictures, it's still the original. Um, I'm assuming that'll probably change down the line, but... Yeah, that is friggin' nifty right there. Love the new colors. Um, I actually really love this right here, where uh, Murden and Gildas actually have different colors. That bugged me far more than it should have to judge, me, judge them by their uh, hairdos in the original. When I'm referring to the original, I'm referring, well, to the remake. Uh, quite frankly, I played the remake before the original original. I started with a GBA game, then played the PSP remake because I thought it was going to be accurate to the original. 
and then went back and tried the actual original because I was really disappointed by the remake's balancing. And yeah, spent the last... hell, has it been like six years since this came out? Something like that? I think it... no wait, did it come out in 2009? Huh, oh crap. In that case it would be like eight years. Well, whatever it was, spent all those years trying to do different challenge runs and whatever else, and I, you know, did all the ones for all the titles and whatever, where you go through without losing anyone or any of that. I uh, did a no skill run, did a no, um, uh, pretty much nothing but guns run. I uh, started doing what I called the Catch-22 challenge, but, I mean, all of it helped, but it still felt weird. So, this seems to have brought back that original balance where, I mean, if somebody's hitting somebody with a stick, it's not doing two damage. That crap is doing its 30s or 40s or whatever. I mean, FFT and the original of this got that right. Uh, also, the clerics have become monks. Uh, the weapons have debuffs added to them. And, uh, yeah. All kinds of sensible stuff. Uh, healing. Scales. Thank you for that. Finally healing scales. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, friggin' lands is still hardcore as all crap here. Just ripping people in half. But, yeah, that kind of, uh, like I was saying earlier, that kind of pseudo-historical thing where, I mean, weapons are weapons, armor is armor. That... They seem to have gotten that message with this remake. Uh, these guys' damage is going to suck against those three because they are, like, freaking crazy hardcore and all that. But yeah, like, small shields help with um, uh, melee blows and to help with avoidance. Baker shields help with tankiness and avoiding arrows and just blocking them outright and stuff like that. Spears increase avoidance and parry chance and also because you can use them on basic soldiers, can be really good at hitting two guys at one time. You've got uh, Mighty Strike on them. Or Mighty Impact. I forget if that was changed or not. A lot of the names were changed for this, so... I saw a lot of things were renamed to Strikes. Yes, yes, it's a trap, but they are not very good at trapping. <sighs> Turns out a block of cheese doesn't do a very good job trapping a mouse. But, uh, yeah. Uh, also, Canopus. Uh, he's go gone back to his previous Ultimate Jack of All Trades status. Um, can actually use spears again. So that's nifty. A lot of the finishers were rebalanced to something that made sense. Like, for example, that whole thing where all of your initial finisher finishers are inexplicably way better than the ones that take like a year to get. Um, yeah. A bit different now. Da -da -da. Yeah, especially stuff like uh, with crossbows and all that. Like, hmm, you got one move here, and it'll put one guy to sleep, or another over here that will launch a friggin' grenade at, like, five dudes. So, like, yeah, that's, that's a little bit, um, strange. Why are we having that? It's like, original brimstone hail was enough to break through pretty much any line. Uh, I mean, it was pretty dang comical in a lot of cases. Especially if you kept a dragoon in the back, like a heavy crossbow, stuff like that. But, hmm. It was like three dragons bunched up over there, it'd be a shame if, uh... Well, it'd be a shame if either... Well, you couldn't really combine your dragon skills with your regular skills, but... That didn't stop me from trying. I know. They could go and just nuke a place, or they could completely eliminate a friggin' dragon from the front there. Presumably they just went and shot straight through him. Who knows? Stuff was odd. Need more coffee. Hmm. Bye bye, Babble. Why is my fast forward button not working? It appears my my buttons have gotten mapped wrong again. Oh well. Oh, there it goes. It's just lagging a little bit because I have a lot of stuff up at the moment. I'm going to Almorca passageway. I do appreciate that he didn't change the names back to the originals. Because, uh, yeah, as nice as they were, uh, let's just say the originals had a little bit of a strange naming convention. Um, like, instead of Elmorica, it was America Castle, pretty much. Like, uh, it's a little on the nose, guys. Oh. Also, uh, Elisair was a loser. <laughs> oh, that was awkward running into that the first time. But that's why she uh, got named to Aerosel, which is definitely cooler. 
Alright, fast forward through all this. These guys run forward, they die, etc. Want to get back to the rebalances. So, yeah, another one of the rebalances. Clerics are now monks. Uh, they get fist skills and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the crappier we weapons, like uh, books, stabs, things like that, uh, they got rebalanced to be better, especially their kill moves got rebalanced. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the, you know, undead killing stuff got changed properly to just be balder stuff. I mean, the, uh, the undead bonus is entirely to them. Uh, let's see, fans went from hammers to daggers, that makes sense. Uh, the armors are, again, kind of more of a baseline. They've, they're slight variants of each other to the point where there isn't as much of a constant upgrading MMO-like tier system and more of um, a, you know, a baseline side grade sort of thing going on. Uh, which is very nice. <laughs> if it all works like it sounds like it does and what it seems like it does, I could not be happier. Uh, I'll say, um, kind of would like to see spears on knights, but then again, this is also just coming from the fact that, well, I really love, uh, the, the GBA game, uh, the Knight of Lotus. Um, frankly, I always had a thing where I kept that front line of pikemen going, and then I eventually just replaced them all with, uh, knights. I just had this, like, slow-moving wall of spears, <laughs> which, to be fair, it makes sense. Knights more than likely would be expected to be fighting other knights, and things like that. And generally speaking, would be... Well, they'd be on horseback and probably keep a hammer or something like that on them. To fight other guys in armor on the ground, so that makes sense. Uh, hammers actually have a chance to stun. Uh, so, they, they're, they're stunning things. Swords uh, open somebody up with a stagger. Uh, axes can do breached now and seem to have gotten upgraded overall, so they don't you know, fill the role of utter dumpster garbage over there. Uh, what else? I didn't see... I didn't see if maces got a change, but I assume they did. I assume they probably got incorporated into the hammers a bit better. Into the hammer tier, rather. I saw some other stuff on there, like, um... A lot of the, uh... uh reagent skills were taken out. The stuff like um, the sword dances and a lot of the warlock skills and stuff like that, they were changed to MP skills or TP skills, as far as I can tell. So that's fantastic. You don't have to keep your inexplicable random garbage around. Uh, apparently a lot of the old reagents got changed to um, kind of treasure drops, as it were. Uh, let's see. The, uh, uh, the healing items... The main healing items got nerfed, the re uh, revival items got... Or no, the main healing items got boosted, what am I saying? It's the revival items that got nerfed. Right, so there's only one name for this, and that is the Order of One Vision. Which I have to respect the name of that mod so much. Uh, pretty much all of the original TO games, with exception to 64, uh, were named after Queen songs. If I can hit that A, that'd be nice. Um, and yeah, this is One Vision! All we need is fried chicken. Man, one of my favorite songs right there. Favorite mod, favorite song, etc. Okay, and there, uh, Ravenous happened. Uh, man, looking up the uh, art for this game, like 90% of, of it is like Ravenous fan art. By the way, that lag is me accidentally holding down the fast forward button. So I've yet to see if transferring this over to a Vita will allow it to play. Um, I know on a, uh, a jailbroken uh, PSP this should work. Uh, on emulation it seems to work, and I'm trying to save here for the hell of it. Uh, so far I haven't seen any um, uh, any particular glitches or anything else. But yeah, let's go into the party here. Let's see what we see. So first things first, I'm going to want this guy to be using uh, crossbows down the line. Oh yeah, this is what I meant to say. Um, blowguns and thrown weapons got put into one skill, and their finishers are the same. Uh, also, uh, thrown weapons have a much heavier equip cost, but are infinite. So finally, you don't have to go back and spend your entire budget on getting more javelins. So, loving that one. Da -da. Yeah, she can get draconic magic right off the bat. That's pretty nifty, but I don't think there's any of that available. 
warriors can properly equip everything as they should be able to. That's their whole deal. Why could they not equip spears before? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for this. I have no idea how happy that makes me. Like, far more than it should. It just, this, this is just an outright joy right now. Um, your uh, basic starter guys actually come with skills this time. So that's nice to have. Uh, this guy, Cudgels, and I believe he starts off with Dark. Or actually, no. Or no, he does have Dark. I was going to say, I was kind of wondering if it was incorporated in his class there for a moment. Um, so yeah, she's a monk. Hmm. Let's see, Cudgels. Yeah, a lot more. Seems like more stuff can use Cudgels. Uh, Cudgels generally give more of a magic bonus kind of thing. Uh, they can also be given fists uh, for more of that offensive edge. Uh, it seems like you should be able to make a pretty good um, kind of FFT-like monk. A kind of a dodge tank damage dealer kind of hybrid. And then spell blades have their whole thing going on. Uh, yeah, swords, spears, cudgels. These guys can't use bows anymore, uh, which I like. Um, frankly, that gets rid of, an, of another exploit that I always love to use, uh, which was essentially kind of as a... Um, uh, frontline uh, TP building crossbow spammer. Um, bows and small crossbows, they were pretty darn fantastic for. Is it them I'm thinking of with the crossbows? I think it is. They might have just been with bows. Uh, I remember my most recent run I was using bows with them. But, uh, yeah, no. It's a completely thing, different thing I'm thinking of with the crossbows. But yeah, if you had room fencers and uh, knights in the front with bows and crossbows, that's what I'm thinking of here. You could essentially have them use their respective abilities to keep tanking damage and then just putting out the kill moves everywhere. And all of them had healing items, or all of them had healing abilities. So this formation was functionally unkillable. <laughs> it was absurd. Um, let's see, last rebounds I can remember off the top of my head. They all go and learn things faster, finally. So you wanna you know, upgrade your thieving ability and whatever else, it's not gonna take you 400 years. Uh, that one seemed to be upgraded by about 25%. A lot of the weapons and race skills seem to be upgraded by anywhere from 50 to 200%. Um, I, I don't remember which one it was that um, got a crazy upgrade. Which I still have the PDF up here. Da, 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 da. That is a lot of skills. And... Right. Eventually, I will get up to it and find it. Yeah, there, he has like a full breakdown in the PDF of exactly what changed with all the skills here. Uh, also, you may have noticed uh, the different kinds of katanas and things like that are available right off the start in the store. Uh, da, da, da. What am I looking for here? I seem to have completely forgotten what I'm looking for. Alright, never mind. Back to it. Oh yeah, the skill progression, that's what I was looking for. Er <laughs> Sorry, it's a 40-page document, it's gonna take me a second here. I believe it might be right here at the start. Yeah. So for example, with skills, it says uh, weapon skills level at a rate of 96 instead of 64, racials uh, 72 instead of 48, Parry and Deflect are 96 instead of 64. Overpower is 240 instead of 128. A steel is 240 instead of 192. Meditate is 168 instead of 128. Um, other actives are 240 instead of 160. So. Alright. There we go. I think this guy is pretty well set up for the moment, at least for what I want him to be. You know, why don't I just make him into a Berserker? Can Berserkers use... what can they use? Let's see... Probably should have checked before changing him. Alright, well he can't use crossbows, but let's see. Berserker, fists, axes, hammers... I believe they had thrown before, so they don't have that anymore. Um, not too much changed here. Alright, let's change you to knight. Yeah, a lot of the classes are, or a lot of the class marks are easier to obtain now. Uh, let's see, knights. Swords, axes, hammers. That's pretty much the same as before. 
Not seeing any crossbows, that's good. Like that. What, no guns? Do they get guns at level 50? Where's that uh, epilogue knight, huh? Um, hmm. And divine magic, swords, axes, etc. Oh, we should probably buy him a class mark to make him an archer. No, let me just buy a few class marks in general. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. Work on all that later. Get one of those, get some spears. Alright, now, weapon wise. You can see the differences are not terribly huge yet. Um, I mean, it's not going to be magical or anything. They, there are still upgrades by the looks of it. But in general, it doesn't seem like as much of a leap. Like, your absolute bottom isn't terribly, uh, terribly low there. Hmm. Alright. Some spear action over here. You got these right off the bat. Uh, these... Okay, the Tashi does, um... Is that? I don't really see what the point is of the Hisu yet. Um, give me that luck bonus, I guess. Yeah, the others don't seem to give a luck bonus, so uh, I guess these are more for being able to dodge effectively. Which I can see that. Uh, makes uh, Swordmasters a better uh, dodge tank. You can probably start training people in those skills earlier on. Alright, let's see that. Uh, these give an int of 7 now. Uh, that's reasonably significant. What else? Yeah, these poison now. That's awesome. Gladius, Warblade. Oh! Overpower! Friggin' two-handers have overpower right off the bat. Ah, oh, forgot about that. That's an awesome one. Ah, uh, so many good things. Alright, I'll probably want to vary people up later. And this isn't a very good time to change these guys. Actually, a lot of their base skills are going to suck for this, but whatever. Um... Actually, I think I'm just going to have the guys be the frontliners here, change you all to your respective goodies. You know what? I like my formations. Yeah, you're a magic user? Congratulations. You're a friggin' soldier now. Alright, that's done. You can be a knight. I want that more out there. And you can stay a monk. You will be an archer. Can I change you? No. Still can't change him. He's unchangeable. Actually, can you use two-handers? Hmm. Well, that would have been nice. Kinda hoping she'd be able to. In that case, why don't we make you... Hang on, I forget if they can use two-handers. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see if Berserkers can use the whole uh, Claymore class. Oops. No, they can't. I could have checked this without changing them. Um. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that makes Dark Knights better. That's true. Alright, what can I give you then? Give you the old punchies, which are one handed now, by the way. Thank you again for that. Finally, fists are worth using for something other than an absolute glass cannon. Uh, so they can be like an evasion poison kind of thing. Uh, you can use your axe, that's fine. You need your spear. What should I do with you? Yeah, you're fine without a... No, you're fine as you are. You got a spear, you got a spear. Actually, no, you need a spear. You guys need spears, they're the frontliners. Um, yeah, lots of umming and awing. Now, weapon, let's see. How does this change? So this... Look at the difference between these here. The slops give flat out more defense. Arm guards give a better balance of stats this time around. I'm not really sure what they'd need int for. Get a slight strength bonus. I'd rather just have defense on them. Oh, I should also mention, all of these uh, different equips, respective of their class, have the same um, same cost, uh, the same RT cost. 
which was another nice addition that they added in there. It seems like you guys should be using gloves. So, okay, leather gloves are no longer a flat upgrade here. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Wait. I need to make you into an archer. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't quite bring back the days of having a, uh, a war bow on a wizard, but... Ah, dang, it's amazing. Alright. There we go, that's all set up. Actually, should probably manually resort these. And her leading. Three spear guys behind her. Actually, she's gonna be right behind the spear guys. Yes, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Good. There we go. Yeah, we'll uh, recruit the other two guys later. Probably forgetting something, but on we go. Come back here. Soldier, soldier, soldier. Oh, they're um, extra equipment. That's where I forgot. Hmm. Ah, delicious coffee. Ah, Orba. Oh, and to show this off? Yeah. 22 with a stick. Might as well get some of that training up. Nice. Now, let's see. Alright. Seems like they don't get the same scaling bonus that they did before. Although the 1.9, maybe. Because I think it would have been like 1.1 before. Couldn't be wrong. Because I'm pretty sure it's damage plus a certain flat rate. Alright, chariot tail. That's fine. And what's the story with this? Seems just like flat damage. Uh, yeah, it just seems like flat damage. Uh, crossbows and bows take a significantly longer time to reload now, by the way. Maybe that's not terribly accurate for bows, but I can see that um, see that functioning for balance really well. Especially with how friggin' strong they were. Plus, it seems like they've been nerfed to some degree, especially with their kill moves. So you shouldn't be getting dead weight all the time. There's something weight. I forget what it was exactly. Well, that turn's going, I'll look it up. What's up for bows? Oh, now it's called... Oh, it was dead weight. Alright, it's called dead anchor in this one. Alright. Fair enough. Apparently, proc chances on these um, uh, special abilities are going to vary by weapon. I know they're like 10 to 15 for the fists. The axe one is pretty high up there. Nice. I forgot to equip their respective skills. Good job. Although it's nice to have actual damage at the start of the game. Alright, daggers are the silencer. Dagger or uh, axes are the breacher. Bows. I think also are extra damage. Also, it sounds like somebody's trying to train their pet rhino upstairs. Good lord. I hope that's not coming through. Let's take a look at you. Yeah, seems same thing. Pretty basic. <laughs> yeah, this has kind of run a little bit long, so it's starting to uh, get a little bit up there in terms of lag. Also, it lags a little bit when it's going and trying to adjust the different bits of the video. A little bit clearer. <laughs> Yeah, when I did the did a little bit of testing of this earlier, it uh, it actually was harsh enough that Canopus died in the first fight. Well, he was all sad about Yoria, and then I got all hopeful for a second that the death system had re been rebalanced to just lose life immediately. And yes, that sounds like a horrible thing to wish for, but I mean, if you played the original, you know exactly why. Oh. Hmm. Okay, throw stone is still terrible. That's fine. Why is it lagging so much? Alright, that will lag because that's the overhead view. 
Also, they have a cheap exorcism right off the bat for your healer. Fantastic. Instead of 30, it's been reduced to 20, so there's a chance you can actually exercise some stuff early on. Very nice to have. Um, Dark is actually... Okay, Dark makes more sense in terms of the magic classes this time around. So, okay, the original, all of them were pretty much even except for, you know, one or two abilities that each one had. And it was kind of one of those, who cares, just pick the one that you like, you know, you like to spam and go for it. Like, frankly, a lot of uh, a lot of times I just ended up going with Earth. It was a Petrofog and... or uh, Petroburst. I think, no, it was Petrofog for, uh, for uh, Earth. And yeah, just spam that crap over and over. Just disable the entire team with no problems. Hmm. Lag, you are bad. Stop doing that. I might actually have to end it because of this. Or frame skipping? There we go. It's gonna mess up the text a little bit, but it's not gonna lag as much. At least until the end of this fight. <laughs> okay, that's super distracting. Never mind. Sorry. Um, this is not supposed to be as buggy as it is. I'm just messing around with the texture scaling right now. Rendering resolution. I don't want to mess with that, though. All right, just turn off frame skipping. We'll deal. So I'll figure out the lag issue next time. I know I had to figure it out before, but I've been tweaking around with settings back and forth for my Armor 4 stuff. So it's been all over the place. Yes, he wants to give some advice. That's nice. <laughs> now, the history enthusiast inside me really enjoys the fact that they nerfed the crap out of bows and stuff. Because, okay. They were deadly, sure, but they were there as kind of a harassment thing. Like, it was one of those things where if arrows were truly flying through armor and shields and things like that, nobody would bother carrying all this stuff. <laughs> kind of an annoying thing in every movie, and like, no, no, that arrow did not fly through steel. That, that's crap. It is like a tiny piece of metal on the end of a thing of wood. It's flying kind of fast. That's just gonna, you know, plink right off. Alright, Canopus is seriously about to die. I need to get somebody over there to heal him. Alright, I know that healing items have a range of... They're supposed to have a range of two. Why? Where's my range of two? I don't suppose I can use that. Ooh. Oh, and this actually says what they do now. I forgot about that. It's slightly raised. Yes, I know it's running slow. It sucks, but what do you want me to do about it? Move over here. Pick up this stuff. <laughs> well, fine then. You just you just block that stuff. Just me be the friggin' impenetrable ultimate friggin' blocking bastard over there. Um, hmm. Words are hard. I don't suppose I can kill him, but I can shoot you. Mm, yeah, there we go. You can heal Knopus. He's heal 50 now. Or they were supposed to. Why don't they? I could have sworn it said they heal 50. Hmm. Hang on, I'm looking through this thing. I'm like 90% sure that... Uh, that said that these are supposed to heal 50. I'm pretty sure he would have picked up on it. Alright, for some reason my search thing isn't working. I don't really know why. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah. Says healing's supposed to be 50 now. Well, I'm confused. Oh well. Moving on. Please don't die, Knop. Oh, it does heal 50, it just doesn't say it. Okay. Gotcha. 
So I guess not all the text has been updated. That's fine. Good to know. Betas are betas and such. Stop blocking all my crap. Alright, goodbye, Zell. Go back to FF8. That'll be a throwaway character. Driving cup? Nice! Okay, that looks way cooler. I appreciate that a lot. So, a lot of the kill moves have been changed. No! No, 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 no! Oh. Bye, Canopus. <sighs> well, no Canopus. Oh well. Good deal. I do appreciate that that can happen a lot. Alright, do these change how much they give you? Alright. Uh, increase mind, I probably should have checked before picking it up. Oh well. And do it the, at the next opportunity. And now this is the kind of stuff that I miss doing. You would give all of your frontline soldiers the same type of uh, equipment. Then would essentially they would all get a turn at the same time. You would keep them doing the same thing, just like you know pushing forward and attacking somebody. So nine times out of ten, you could get them going in a constant chain where they all got their turn at the exact same time. You could make a huge push at you know in one particular move. It was great. All right, this guy needs to go. Stop killing off my bird people. Yeah, it wasn't a place for Canopus to die either. Whatever. <sighs> All right. Oh, another thing. Uh, there is... Arcanas can no longer be used in the middle of the fight. So they're entirely menu only. I'm gonna miss the ability to go back and, you know, undo a forgetful thing, but it's a good way to get out of that habit, I suppose. Something's gonna bug me if I don't fix it. Change ID numbers. There we go. Alright, now, skills. Oh, you already have spears. You get spears. You get spears. An absolute joy of having a matching skill tree takes place. Well, more or less. Wait, what? This is known as I'm an idiot, but that's all right. All right. You are the fisting lady. That doesn't sound wrong at all. All right. And you need some trajectory. Ooh, tremendous shot. No. Uh, slightly not enough for trajectory. That's fine. Right. What you need. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. You save, you save. You get something or other. Now, why not Mighty Impact? Then you can go punch some dudes. Now, how has this changed? Uh, the TP... Oh, okay, good. The TP cost for um, a Mighty Impact seems to be 10 higher. Again, for the full and accurate and perfect version of all of this... There's a PDF that comes with the mod, and it has everything, and it's all nifty and great and fantastic. As is this mod. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see, Snackamancy. I'll be honest, if Knope has died, you've got almost no chance, sir. That guy was amazing. Yes, 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 it's been 15 years. Har har har, inside jokes. And what if we change the rendering resolution down to 2? Lag line, a bunch. How about to 1? Look like crap. Alright, whatever, we'll deal. Move down, do stuff. Join sounds of a Hmm. Alright. Uh, so I hope in time this will end up being like the, uh, the 1.3 for this game. Good lord, it deserved it. I mean, it's kind of amazing that it took this long, to be honest. I mean, I know it's probably got to be a hell of a beast to actually mod for, you know, given the lack of any sorts of help whatsoever from the dev side, but...
I'm gonna have to just keep it at this resolution. It looks a billion times nicer than anything coming off the FFT side. Alright. You know what? Worth a look. Ooh! That does real damage now! Oof. Before it did barely anything, like, you could do really piddly damage with heals. Me likey. And I apologize, that overhead map, uh, there are a few settings that allow it to not lag, but... I will not be using them, because they end up messing up everything else. Its accuracy is definitely a thing, these skeletons seem a lot easier. Stab this guy in the side. I am. Except not, because he missed. Uh, maybe in time, I can set up that same stab counter stab strategy that always worked in the GBA game. So it was kind of funny. You got about 25%, I think it was like either half or 25% damage to the second guy when you were doing the stab through. So you could position two, your, two of your guys, like, like say uh, Carolyn here was the target. You could have these two repeatedly stabbing and then countering each other. Just getting constant hits over and over and over. It was awesome. <sighs> Maybe he can include a new skill in the game. What do you say, guy? Think you can put that in? Like a skill that does 25% damage to a friendly unit on the other side? Then people can read the description of does, you know, less damage and wonder what the hell's going on. And then realize, oh crap, this is my counter back and forth ability, finally. I've waited my whole life for this since I was a little baby child to play the, uh, re not even remake. The original Gaiden game there. Apparently it's considered Gaiden game. I don't know, it's fantastic though. I mean, the GBA had some fantastic games, what's up with that? Why did that thing have so many good and amazing things? Spent, like, I don't know, a third of the day today listening to the old Golden Sun soundtrack. Especially this uh, metal remix this guy did. He just did covers of a whole bunch of different songs. Um, what's his name? I'm pretty sure I still have it here somewhere. Why are we lagging so hard? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was trying to look up that guy's name real quick. I will, I promise, I will sort this out by next time. It seems to be this rain effect. Um, I don't know if there's any workaround code for that. Uh, I would assume there would be. Oof. Yeah, that guy's name was Johnny Atma, by the way. With the amazing covers of a bunch of things. I wonder if I could convince him to go do some stuff in this game. Be awesome. If you can hold up that dodging dealie. And I love that they dodge so much with spears. They're actually being pikemen. I mean, granted, they wouldn't be able to deflect arrows like this, but whatever. You know? Basic soldier with spear was kind of the main thing on battlefields for a reason. And that's because they got all their stab on. Again, thank you for this mod. Good sir. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Just keep stabbing on this guy. Stop blocking it. That's rude. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four. Don't miss. I should have gone for a tremendous there. Oh well. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the um, the TP rebalance ends up working out. Because a lot of times he had some funky stuff when it came to um, the kinds of stuff that the AI would choose to use. So given how the rest of it has gone, I assume it's going to be a lot more interesting this time around. So that the AI is not just spamming the same stuff over and over and over. And it drove me nuts to see Berserkers do the exact same thing every single time, because they would go, they would charge up to your guys, they would hit one guy out of a row of three guys, and then they would go turn on Berserk, so that they'd be able to hit those three guys next turn when those three guys will be somewhere else. And it was infuriating. So, uh, we'll see. Right, let's get you out of the front lines. <laughs> Beat this fight, get Voltaire, give him another spear, that's why I picked up four. Actually, one of them already had a spear, so I didn't need to... Oh well. I plan to eventually have four pikes in front. Anyone? Anyway. Hmm. Well, there she goes. So that, um, that weaker second hit is not in play, that's what I wanted to test there. So spears are still amazing. That was admittedly a, an absurdly janky strategy, but I just love that it was possible. Alright, so they're gonna go and ignore those two, move forward to take out the leader. Nice. Ashwa starts off friggin' deadly in this version. Oh, another nice rebalance that they did. So the tier 1 um, projectiles are actually weakened, so they're not doing like friggin' 80s right off the bat. It was kind of always an issue where the early game, they were going and tearing straight into everything, and then later game you went back and it's like, okay, they've got like the fourth tier of this ability. It says that they're supposed to nuke a small continent with this, and, like, they can't kill a rat? What, you know, what the hell's going on? So, a welcome change. Hmm. Actually kind of reminds me of the RuneScape problem. In the early version, anyway. It ended up adding some buffs later on, but they had the exact same kind of thing where Early on, there was this, you know, huge thing where mages would be super overpowered. And then you'd get to the later parts, and it didn't matter. Because you had basically damage... Well, the maximum health any person could have was 99 before, you know, they added any buffs. The maximum that spells could do, I think, was, um, 20. Uh, melee could do, like, upwards of 60. And there wasn't any way to make any mages faster, so... Up till I think I think just a little before 2011 is where they finally balanced everything out. Of course, then they made RS3 and stuff got retarded, but that's a whole other story for a whole different game, and we're not even gonna go into that. Right. This guy's turn isn't coming anytime soon, but let's have him finished off. So he's dead. Whenever his poison ticks, not gonna bother finish him off. <sighs> Maybe I will, because she's got nothing better to do. You got a shot on her? I doubt it. Oh well. Get my own guy. That'll happen. Kill Mr. Johan. Ooh. 
Oh! Do they get TPs out of that? I've been wondering what it is that heals them, what that second one is, like whether it's MP or something. Or do they just get an extra... They just get an extra little heal. So, okay, okay, I think the, um, I think it's 50 for the base amount, so it's, it's higher base, and then the scaling amount is that second number. There we go, he's gone. Might have to abruptly leave any second here. It sounds like there's work going on, and if it suddenly gets loud, that'll just be unpleasant. I don't know why they decided to redo this entire place today and not even let me know. There's just work all over the place. Alright, punch you, poison you. Hmm. Feeling a little powerful early on with this setup. But that's fine. I mean, it's just a bunch of, you know, raggedy old ghosts and crap. That makes sense. Kind of curious to see how different, um... I know I, I'm a lot, I apologize for that. I, kind of curious to see how different the Kadriga fight is, you know, with all the zombies and crap in there. It should be a lot easier with some actual exorcists. You need some healing, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Alright, just lady, don't steal my loot. Okay. I hope he can potentially adjust the AI to not steal the loot bags down the road. That's another just kind of random gripe I have. Kind of throwing requests out there. But yeah, it is really frustrating later on, uh, later down the road. Because I know that they're just trying to move into the position that they see ideal. Because, you know, that other guy died in that particular spot for a reason, because they liked that particular position. But uh, the problem is, in many cases, you'll be trying to get a particular drop, like you're going for the, you know, Bringing enchilada books down the road. Yes, I know it's in the Shidron, but I like calling them the enchilada books. So you're going for those towards the end of the game, and you know, or you're in Coda or whatever. Looking through, it's like, okay, they finally dropped it. Oh, wait, that other guy keeps stealing it, and then you keep reloading and figuring out a way to make them not steal your crap. Which isn't fun, it's just annoying. So. I mean, I, I would assume that would require an AI rework, which has to be a lot more difficult than a general rebalance, so... Frankly, I'm not holding my breath on it, but it would be amazing if it happened. Holy crap, can actually do some damage to this Necromancer guy without needing a bunch of people piling on her. I should say girl instead of guy, also I'm shooting my own people. Oh well... Sometimes I don't brain properly. Hmm. All right. I think immediately after this is done, I'm going to submit this to the author and see if he'll be okay with me putting it up. Because I would seriously like to continue trying out different versions of this as it goes up and you know, kind of do live testing of it and all that. Generally speaking, my work and all that is pretty random and generally home-based, so 99% of the time I'm, you know, kind of sitting around the same room, watching a baby, watching a puppy, just kind of alternating between checking what's going on with my you know, sales and stuff and, you know, playing with the baby, playing with the puppy, and then going and, you know, putting some kind of general video type situation together as a hobby. There we go. Moldova is down in two turns. Might be able to crossbow her down or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, get that tremendous shot going. See if there's any animation change for this. 
Well, speaking of, how fast are your skills going up? Incredibly fast. Yes! Finally. Okay, so that's like, yeah, that's 20 from the first couple fights. And the first one that he's actually had a skill for it. Oh, that is beautiful, man. Beautiful. This is exactly what this game needed. Ah, oh, man, I cannot be happier. Said it a hundred times, I'll say it again. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Level fours. Now, mm, this has gone on almost an hour. Alright. Get Voltaire and Sarah. Yeah, and you're fine. Come join us. Nice! Okay. So they do have unique sprites. Appreciate it. Good stuff. He actually has the proper red plume now. Me likey. Alright. That's a sweet hammer you got there. How would you like to be a frontline soldier over Voltaire? I want to see if he'll keep the same look. Yes! Alright. I got my Spear Knight. I am now happy. As if I wasn't happy before. You know, I've been friggin' ecstatic since I read about this, but... Whatever. Uh, you can't use it yet? Doesn't even matter. Well, you know what? Actually, for now, I'll just have you using your hammer. That's fine. And Sarah's got all this sort of thing going on. Um, you know what? Fine keeping her as an archer, I think. Got all that dex bonus going. So a lot of these characters apparently have had their bonuses nerfed. Um, let's compare. So her base dex is 36 right now. Compare with my main guy. This is 35. 33, 32, 29. I mean, yeah, I can see that. These two have freakishly high stats. Which is fine. I like this. I like this a lot. Ah. So yeah, I will be doing more on this if I get the okay too. And um, yeah, let me know.